I'm Derek Akora, and you're watching Terra TV. Good evening, you are watching Terra TV. I'm Juliana, and I'm whispering because we're at Scare Kingdom Screen Park, and um, they have Derek Akora inside Mana Mortis, who's doing a ghost hunt right now, and it's like in the building next to me. And I don't know whether you remember, but a couple of years ago, uh, we filmed Haunted Mana Mortis, which was another ghost hunt that there was in this building, because there's a lot of spooky goings on. Um, lots of bumps and cast members hearing things and seeing things so it'd be really interesting to speak to Derek in a little while and just see what he's found uh, so that's why we're here tonight and um, we're really excited to actually meet Derek Agora um, and also experience uh, Mana Mortis before it comes out for 2016 Halloween this year Hi, so we're here with um, the well-loved TV psychic and medium Derek Akora. Um, Derek, so you have just been through um, Mana Mortis. I have. And you've been here for uh, a ghost investigation. I have, yes. But before that, you went through Mana Mortis as a scare attraction. Yes, I did. And how did you find uh, the scare attraction with the scare actors? Um, quite moving, um, quite startling. And in actual fact, I bumped myself against the wall on two occasions because I didn't know what the heck was happening. <laughs> we heard that you screamed quite a little I bit. Did. Well. I did, I, I did. I backed off and at one point, one of my guests, Faith, uh, with us here, she was behind me and I thought, no, I can't take much more of this. And I said to her unkindly, Faith, you can stand in front, you go for it, of course. <laughs> you pushed Faith in front of you. What a coward. What a coward. <laughs> and here I am, a medium. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you can't handle the, yeah. uh, the, the intensity the, this reality, of the Yeah, the intensity. I mean, some of the things that went down in there. My gosh. <laughs> there was one point we went, and I thought I was going th uh, through a, a curtain. And believe me, it was like being uh, trapped. And you had to fight, you had to push these curtains that were like balloons and you, you go so far you think you come to the end of it and then more and as you're doing this okay uh, the claustrophobic feeling is unbelievable i'm sure everyone felt the same behind me but you know this didn't seem to be an end to it i thought oh my god it seems to last forever doesn't it yeah we've been through um, have you been through we've it? been through it before and i mean every time that we go through it, it's very very different is it but it's so extreme all the time so i oh, definitely know how you feel yeah yeah um, it's really intense isn't mm, it very much so yes so after you went through yeah um you the lights went on mm -hmm. and then you started your investigation and I what did. did you find well i i found um a, a after psychometrizing touching uh, certain articles, and even before then, um, I, uh, rather quickly I found this very sad uh, sensing within the atmosphere of a young child. And I could um, recognize that it was a, a young uh, girl, a young baby girl, and the sadness attached to her, just like enveloped me, surrounded me, and I wondered, why was this happening in my view? And then as a later, as we went on in the investigation, I realized I'd come across the personality of a woman's spirit mm. and put the two of them together. I couldn't do anything else because they did belong together yeah. within the spirit and realized that the mother of the child was also in the atmosphere. And we ascertained later in the investigation that she'd lost this child maybe between 16, 17 months. Um, and she was at that time totally like any mother would be, I'm sure, in physical life, bereft, so sad, carried on with the sadness and, and what have you. So going back in time, the mother had to carry on living, um, but always holding in her heart and her mind, you know, I'll never see my baby again. Um, and then suddenly she must have gone over of age and then got confused, still hadn't been linked up with the baby child. Mm. And she's in the atmosphere searching for her, calling her. And the little girl has been heard to be calling out uh, in the atmosphere uh, as other evenings. Um, so and I felt so sad. It's it's a really like quite um, a heart-wrenching oh, um, feeling really, isn't it? Well, any mother that loses a babe child, it must be absolutely... Oh, well, you know, yeah. terrible. So is that in the nursery, was that experience? That was mostly in the nursery, yes. But it was basically uh, more so or more stronger when we come to uh, the area of that where there was a, a cradle, a cot, a, a metal, you know, uh, cot, 
and the moment I got to it and such that I saw the child, I saw the mother uh, looking over, uh, but looking over in such a sad, unhappy, because she was calling out, looking down at the child, the child had already passed over. So she had to pick the child up and she was going through that motions of terrible motions of sadness. Oh, crying, my baby, my baby, Abigail, Abigail, I could hear the sing, mm. Abigail, 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 no, no. So that was sort of like the image in a way that you, that yes. you saw of it, you yes. were part of. Yes. And that's because like in Scare Kingdom, they have so many um, artifacts and so many antiques and objects yeah. um, from all that's around the world. That's why the spirit people so are old. here, not because of the surroundings. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't probably even think about coming here. But these articles, artifacts, furnishings yeah. that have belonged to different people, the, some of these people that are coming here are the owners of, in the past, of these pieces of furniture. Yeah. And of course, you know, if I walked over and touched whatever, <coughs> best part of the time, I may get a mental image of a previous owner, which happened this evening. Um, there's that much furniture here, God, your mind would boggle. <laughs> but you see, the spirit people are not here because of the, the scare factor of Scare Kingdom. They're here purely and simply, and they're coming here. And I must point out as well, I did not pick up one spirit energy that frequents this, these buildings, that is of negative thought, mm. okay? Right. All benign, mean and happy, and maybe having a good laugh along the way yeah. to see the folk of the present day going through this scare experience and then stand the back and say, ho, 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 you know? Yeah. So, so actually it's just like the characters yeah, in Scare Kingdom. Yeah, they love the characters. I'm sure they love the characters. It's you know? just the characters that are like the evil ones. Absolutely. <laughs> They're the evil ones here. The spirits the are not the evil, not the, the characters no, no, are going to scare you. No. I'm sure the ones who, who are acting, they're, they're not, they're very lovely people, very nice. But the, the parts they play, the characters, mm. they're not very pretty no. to see or touch, you know. But some characters come up and say, I want your blood into this bowl, you know. And you <laughs> yeah. want to drink it if I get it. And I said, no, I don't. Go away, <laughs> <Yeah>. you know. <laughs> Well, that's exactly like what it's like here, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So is there any advice that you could give to any customers? Because at Scare Kingdom, they have so, it's such a busy attraction. They have so many people, so many yeah. fans come in. Any advice that you can give to them this year to experience Scare um, Kingdom? Well, I'd, I'd say, yeah, okay. Come and have a, a, a true experience first. Um, and um, what I can say is the toilets are not very far away. There you go. Okay. <laughs> They're not very far away. You'll need them. Yeah. Um, uh, yes. Naturally, people are going to be scared because what I've just experienced, uh, it's at the time scare me. Yeah. And but it's what can I say is from the scaring when we all came out, we said one thing to each other, and we all in agreement. We thoroughly enjoyed that. And that's it. It's about having fun. Yeah, Halloween. having fun. Yeah, Absolutely. Definitely. One more thing, Derek, before Good. we go. Yeah. Now, this is a bit unusual because um, about 12 years ago, mm. I actually um, met you. And yeah. I did, right? And I bought your book. I'm that old. <laughs> <laughs> 12 years ago. Honestly, right? And I brought a picture to show you. Oh, yes. It's such a Look long time that. ago. But I, I, I what, got what my picture. What theatre was that? That was at, no, I bought your book and I went to your book signing and it was oh. um, in Blackpool. Um, oh, the, yes, by the tower. Yeah. Right opposite so the tower. And then we had a picture taken, so I thought, oh, I'll bring it. Well, because look at that. I know. Look Gosh. how young we are. God, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Crazy. I didn't it? have any lines then, did I? <laughs> you look exactly the same. So did I? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's. Mm. I just thought it was quite interesting to show you. Thank um, you very much. Can for that. you please say to our camera, um, yeah. I'm Derek Akora and you're watching Terra TV? Yeah. I'm Derek Akora and you're watching Terra TV. Thank you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure to meet Thank you. Thank you. It's been again. nice to speak to you again. <laughs> 12 years on. Thanks a lot. Thanks.